here at uh, Productronica 2019, day two. I'm joined by Bill Astle from Juki. Um, thanks for joining us. Hi Ian, um, pleasure to be here. Now you, just before the camera started rolling, tell me some of the things you've got going on. You've got a new strategic alliance and lots of new developments and technology. So Correct. start from the top and talk okay. us through that. Great. I think the biggest news is that we've done a strategic uh, infusion of equity into a SEGI. So uh, Juki is now a 49% equity holder in a SEGI automation. And uh, this is a strategic alliance, of course, in that we can now automatically deliver parts to and from the SMT lines, either Juki or any other placement system. Yeah. Uh, those, an alliance like that sounds, you know, it, it makes a huge amount of sense, but it must have taken some time to get to the point where you can actually join together in that way. Sure, there's there's an awful lot of trust involved in it and of course professionalism and the trust is really in the Juki organization being able to uh, uh, promote the products and it's great synergy between the two companies. Uh, both are innovative and really looking at uh, uh, the, the future factories, the yeah. smart factories of the future. So that involves of course material handling, intelli intelligent material handling and storage. I think I mean, the, the smart factories, automation, even lights out factories, they are going to require a lot of collaboration all the way along the line from you know, the manufacturers of materials, manufacturers and equipment, the management of those companies, the management of the companies doing the manufacturing. It, it, a lot of it is a new way of thinking, isn't it? And this, this it really is. seems to typify what that Correct. is the essence of it. And it's, it's driven by Industry 4.0, certainly, the, the Internet of Things, machine to machine communication and really automating as much as possible to make things more efficient and uh, eventually get to that goal of lot size of one being able yeah. to, be, to be run as efficient as high volume manufacturing. So it's pretty exciting. Yeah, I mean, uh, and th this has literally just been announced, hasn't it really? So it's, It has, yeah, yes, yeah. in the last yeah. few months, yeah. uh, literally. Yeah. And uh, you see our, our booths are joined at the hip now yeah. uh, with the SEGI and uh, we're showing a nice pass through from mm -hmm. uh, a clean room environment to SMT yeah. environment, in fact. Yeah. So uh, we're expanding really right, yes. the, yeah. into other areas, both electronics and other storage. So uh, it's really exciting for us. And has that, I mean, physically being co-located like that, has that allowed you to talk to people you wouldn't have spoken to? Before? Right, yeah, so, so certainly customers come in on both sides uh, that may not have an Asegi product or a Juki product, and that opens the door for us to introduce the synergy between the two companies yeah. to show our SMT capability and our smart intelligent storage or material management right, in the yeah. whole factory. Yeah. And the next step, of course, is to automate the movement of that material with the AGV. And uh, we have successful implementations of that, and now we're going to be bringing that to the worldwide market. Right, yeah. Exciting times. It really is. Yeah. Um, you know, Juki's got a massive amount of experience there, and it's, it's interesting that we're, as I said just then, you know, we're at a point where companies are actually understanding the value of their corporate experience, and they're... No, that, but then by sharing it, it's not giving it away, it's actually expanding what can be done, isn't it? Correct, yes. It's expanding, expanding the, the global market share, uh, and really the collaboration, the professionalism, the knowledge base uh, between the two companies, and of course both companies listen to their clients. So we yep. take those suggestions back and talk about them and then implement them. Uh, SEGI specifically is very good at making quick software changes and responding to the customer's requests. Uh, which is very, very nice to bring that into the organization as well. Yeah. So I we can act very quickly. To change a mounter takes a, a little bit longer, yeah. right? Yeah, uh, but yeah. to change a, a few lines of code in a storage yeah. GUI is a little bit easier. Yeah. Uh, and so we're able to act uh, a little bit quicker. If you yeah. yeah. Um, do you think that Industry 4 Smart Factory, it's actually delivering now? You know, it, it's actually happening. We've, we've talked about it for a long time. We have. You know, revolutions don't happen overnight, although despite saying it's a revolution, it's more of an evolution, isn't it? It's, That's correct. And a lot of it comes down to people's acceptance of it. Because it is a different way, like you say, with this alliance, it's a different way of thinking. Right. Right. It's a more collaborative way of thinking. And for businesses where it's traditionally been, we'll buy this piece of equipment, it'll improve our efficiency by this amount. It's not as clear-cut that anymore, is it? It's we'll join these things together and we'll look at the information from them, the big data, 
and right. you're drilling down into that. Are they looking to you for leadership in that in some ways? Uh, yes, you know, of course, any big change initiative like Industry 4.0 needs incremental wins. Yeah. And of course, connecting the machines together, collecting the data both horizontally across the line and then uploading that into ERPs, uh, that is happening now, right? So there are short-term wins with closed loop between machines, feedback yeah. between machines, utilizing the data in a smarter way than we used to, yeah. uh, to really do a quick drill down to the actionable events that need to happen on the line. Uh, and this is a short-term win in the big goal to get the Industry 4.0 lights out yeah. if we ever get there. But it's yeah. important to stop and you know celebrate yeah. those short wins. And just like you know the data needs to be in the same format. So the, yeah. this whole CFX and you know other let's say data exchange formats are really coming together, yeah. and that's important. Yeah. Do you think in reality those um, closed loop? systems or you know a few machines talking together or data from a few machines feeding back into improving efficiency is really where it's going to be at for a few years we're not going to see completely automated factories we're not going to see completely connected shop floors for a little while are we i would say you're correct okay there's certain let's say processes in the smt that for me, are still a challenge to think how will that be automated in a lights out factory, right, yes. or, or yeah. let's say lot size of one. Um, certainly, the, the material flow to the machines from the machines is still a challenge. Yeah. Uh, the the parts themselves. I mean, uh, certainly kits, AGVs can carry larger kits and components, but the loading and unloading of the pick and place machines, you can see, we're all working on trying to automate that. Yes. Yeah. Um, but there's still that. Uh, let's say human factor in some cases that need to stitch a tape through a reel for yeah. example. Now we do have auto load feeders, we call them auto load feeders, but a human still has to feed yeah. that, right? Yeah. So at some point there'll be a, a cobot for example that yeah. will load that as well, tied in with AI that says yeah. yes, it makes sense to start that operation now. Yeah. So we're headed in that direction, uh, but again it's important to, to make sure we celebrate the short wins. Yeah. Right, because yeah. if you don't do that, then the steam of the whole industry 4.0 kind of settles down, and I get yes. the questions like you asked. Yeah. Is <laughs> yeah, exactly. this really taking off? Yeah, right? yeah. But uh, and also, uh, businesses want those short-term gains because uh, you know, how can Absolutely. I invest in the future which can't quite be defined yet? You know, so it's right. and I guess listening to your customers and delivering to satisfy their needs now is pretty important. It's very important. Yeah. And of course there's always that side uh, like Apple. You know, customers don't know what they want yet because it's not invented. <laughs> yes. Right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we need to dream big yeah, yeah. and think about if we were on yeah. that side of the fence, what would we want yeah. to make our jobs easier, to make things more efficient, yeah. to get to the lot size of one and the, the true yeah. lights yeah. out factory of the future. Yeah. And I guess, you know, a business size Juki and with the Alliance now you can keep that you're both eyes on the horizon rather than just one maybe that's right yeah. yes that's right we're dreaming big for the future and yeah. uh, we are listening to the customers and uh, at Juki we're a little bit conservative we make sure that we really study and make sure we go in the right direction right, yeah. uh, before we take that big leap um, so which is probably uh, even more important now the current it, it, it mean, really yeah. is there's huge investments in R&D yeah. and uh, AI and yeah. and uh, we are moving more and more into that machine to machine communication with our 3D inspection right. uh, which is also new at the show yeah. uh, and some of course we have new innovative features on our mountains which uh, right, yes. we would love yeah. to have anyone visit and we can explain those yeah. Uh, yeah. in the booth fantastic well thanks for the time to talk to us I appreciate and, it uh, yeah best of luck for the rest of the show thank you so good much good to meet you you too